I already thought as much. Hello, stranger. You must be hungry and thirsty. Perhaps I can interest you in my wares. I'm not touching. I was actually on my way to see the paladins. There's little chance of that. Since the paladins made themselves at home in the upper end of town, hardly anyone gets in there anymore. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? Me? Nah. I don't have much say here myself. There are a few people in the lower city who have enough influence to get you past the guards. Mateo, my boss, is one of them. Maybe you should talk to him. Where can I find Mateo? You're standing right outside his shop. Just go on in. He's practically always there. What about the other influential citizens? The merchants and master craftsmen here on the main street are the most important figures in the city. You should try to get accepted by one of them as an apprentice like me. Since I started working for Mateo, the people in the city treat me with respect. I'd have gone about it differently. I need some money, and I'm looking for work. I've heard that Bosper has trouble with his suppliers. The shop is right over there. They say he pays pretty well. What do you have to offer? At the moment, I don't have much choice. The damned landowner doesn't deliver anymore. And what we get from the small farms isn't enough to meet the demands of the city. He doesn't see that. Tell me more about the peasants' revolt. It's quite simple. Onar, the fat landowner, won't pay any more taxes to the city. Imagine, we're at war with the orcs, and that fat slob wants everything for himself. Normally, the city guard would take firm measures in such cases. But now comes the best part. They say Onar has hired mercenaries to keep the troops from the city off his back. Mercenaries. The whole thing will end in a damn war. As if one war weren't enough. Tell me you didn't know that. What do you know about Onar's mercenaries? I heard that most of them are former convicts from the mining colony. And their leader is supposed to have been a big shot with the king, a general or something, whom they put away as a traitor. These are terrible times. Show me your wares. It's a bad business. What can I do for you? What are you selling? I can offer you everything you need to survive in the wild. Weapons, torches, provisions, even armor. I still have a special piece in stock. Double hardened armor of snapper leather. Still unused. Interested? What do you know about paladins? Since these bastards have come to the city, I've had nothing but trouble. The last time I was headed for the upper end of town, the guards flat out stopped me and asked me what was my business there. And? Of course they let me in. I had my shop in the city when most of those pompous asses were still chasing pigs with wooden swords. And yesterday, the bastards came and confiscated half of my goods. The paladin seized your goods? Everything I had stored in the backyard. They simply posted a guard in front of the entrance to the yard. If I'm lucky, they won't take everything. At least they might leave the armor here. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? What? What are you going to do there? I've got an important message. Well, well. Have you tried getting past the guards? I don't see why I should even try. You're probably right. I don't know how important your message is, and it's none of my business. But even if you told them that a ship full of orcs just anchored in the harbor, they'd send you away because they have their orders. So can you help me get into the upper quarter? It seems to be really important to you. The question is, how important is it to you? What are you getting at? I can help you. After all, I'm one of the most influential people here. But it'll cost you. What are you asking for your help? 100 gold pieces. That's a whole damn lot. Take it easy. It isn't your gold I have in mind. But? In principle, it's my gold. Gritta, the carpenter's niece, hasn't paid what she owes me in ages. But the little brat is constantly running around in new clothes. That means she has the money. I'd like to beat it out of her. But Master Thorben, the carpenter, is also a very influential man. Get me the money and I'll help you. Where can I find this Gritta? Like I said, she's the carpenter's niece. 
His house is down the street, the last house on the right before the smithy. How exactly can you help me? Quite simple. I'll use my influence to see to it that one of the master craftsmen here takes you on as an apprentice. As such, you'll practically be a citizen of the city and can enter the upper quarter. Besides which, you'll earn something while you're at it. Help me sign on as an apprentice with one of the masters. One thing at a time. First fulfill your part of the deal and bring me the gold. Where could I sign on as an apprentice then? Basically, with any master here on the main street. That would be Harrod the Smith, Bosper the Bowmaker, Thorben the Carpenter, or Constantino the Alchemist. One of them is bound to take you on. But it's important that the other masters agree. That's always been the custom here in Corinus. How do I get the approval of the other masters? You just have to convince them. Go and talk to them. But if more than one of them is against you, you don't stand a chance, so behave yourself. Why don't you take me on as an apprentice? I would, but the other masters wouldn't agree. I just recently took on another apprentice. Is there another way to get into the upper quarter? Perhaps. If I think of anything, I'll let you know. Show me your wares. Hey, you're new in town, huh? Yes, and what about you? I've come from the mainland, and now I'm hanging around here. I'm almost out of gold, so all I can do now is join the militia, I guess. But I don't want to do that. I won't be slaughtered by those orcs on the king's behalf. That's not what I heard. What can you tell me about the militia? One of the paladins has taken command. A certain Lord Andre. He's trying to mobilize half the city in case the orcs attack. But you need to be a citizen of the town in order to be admitted. As far as I know, if you're not a citizen, you can train anyway, but you won't be officially admitted. What else can you tell me about Lord Andre? He has taken over the position of judge as well. If you cause any trouble in this town, you're gonna have to answer to him. I was once in a brawl with a citizen. He went crying to Lord Andre and ratted me out. That little matter cost me 50 gold pieces. I was lucky that it happened at night, or others would have witnessed it. The more people complain about you in this town, the higher your penalty will be. Who did you fight with? With a fellow named Valentino. He often hangs out in the tavern near the temple. I'm not usually a violent person, but that guy needed his face rearranged in the worst way. Has anything exciting happened? You could say that. They robbed Bosper the Bowmaker. What a brazen thing to do, I tell you. The fellow just ambled into the shop in broad daylight and grabbed himself a bow. And Bosper right after him, hollering, Stop right there, you rogue! But the thief was too fast. Has anything exciting happened? Oh well, all's quiet. I suppose that when the orcs come, we can't fail to notice. I'm not telling you anything new. These are bad times. Welcome to my shop, stranger. I am Bosper. I craft bows and trade in furs. Hey, what brings you to Corinus? I need to get into the upper quarter. Where the paladins are? Forget it. You need to be a respected citizen here, or at least hold a decent job. As a stranger, you stand no chance of getting in. I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. The last one just gave up his job two days ago. Do you know anything about hunting then? Well... I could teach you how to skin animals. I'll pay you well for every skin you bring me. What if I want to sign on with one of the other masters? Uh, balderdash. Harrod and Matteo already have apprentices. Constantino the Alchemist is a loner. 
and he hasn't taken an apprentice in years. And as for Thorben, everyone knows he's dead broke. He probably couldn't even pay it. I, on the other hand, am in urgent need of an apprentice, and I pay well, too. But no matter where you want to sign on, you need the approval of all other masters from the lower part of town. Why did your apprentice give up his job? All he said was that it had become too dangerous out there. If you're really interested, then you can ask him yourself. His name is Bartok. He's probably hanging out near Corrigan's Tavern. Go through the underpass from the smithy, then you're headed straight for it. I want to start as your apprentice. Before I take you on, I need to know, of course, whether you're any good at all. What do you want me to do for you? I will teach you how to skin an animal, and you will bring me, let's say, half a dozen wolf skins. Then I'll know that you have learned your trade. If it doesn't take you forever, and if the skins are in acceptable condition, I will take you on if you like. Or, uh, you can start with one of the other masters, if that's what you really want. I've heard that someone stole from you. Who told you that? Probably Bartok, huh? Didn't he have anything better to tell you? Oh, well. Let me tell you, if I get hold of this bastard, he can say his prayers. I left the shop for only a moment. When I came back, I could only just see him leave with my bow on his shoulder. I called the guards right away, but the lowlife ran towards the harbor, and they lost him there. I lit a bonfire under their asses then, and they searched the entire harbor district. But they didn't find a thing. Those bumbling lackeys. I bet my bow is still in town somewhere. I informed the guards on both city gates, and they haven't seen anyone leave with my bow. When I get my hands on that bastard. About the wolfskins. We had agreed on half a dozen. But you've still got time. Go and get those skins. Teach me how to skin animals. Right. Listen, it's quite easy, really. You take a sharp blade and cut open the animal's belly. Then make a few small incisions on the inside of the legs, and you can peel off the skin. Bring me the wolf skins and we shall see. Show me your wares. Ah, fresh face. You're not from Corinus, are you? This is not a good time for travelers. Bandits everywhere. No work, and now the farmers have risen up too. What winds have blown you here? I'm looking for work. Do you know anything about carpentry? The only thing I can make out of wood is a fire. And what about locks? Well... I'm sorry, but I can't use you if you know nothing about my trade and I have no money to pay for an apprentice. So, you know a lot about locks. What good is a fine chest without a fine lock? I make my own locks that way. I can at least be sure I haven't built my chest that sturdy for nothing. A poorly made lock is easy to break, and there are plenty of thieves about in Corinus, especially lately. Can you teach me how to pick locks? Hmm, I don't know whether you can be trusted or not. For all I know, you might be one of those layabouts who only come to town to empty the chests of honest people. I'm not gonna teach you anything before I'm convinced that you're an honest fellow. What if I want to start an apprenticeship with one of the other masters here? All right, I shall give you my approval. But you had better get yourself the blessing of the gods first. Say, are you a man of faith? Yes, a most humble servant, Master Thorben. 
Then go to Vatras, the priest of Adonos, and have him give you his blessing. He will tell you where you can find a priest of Inos. You should get his blessing, too. Once you have received the blessing of the gods, I shall vote for you. Hey, you, wait. Uh, you look familiar to me. What do you want? I've seen your face before somewhere, right? Here. We found this picture on some bandits we picked up a few days ago. It looks a lot like you. Apparently, those guys were looking for you. Gee, I'd never have thought of that myself. Very funny. What did those guys want from you? Ask them yourself. You've got them safely locked up, haven't you? No. They're dead. I guess we'll never know then. If you're in some kind of trouble, go talk to Lord Andre. Maybe he can help you. You'll find him in the barracks. Hey, you! I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. Brian will have finished his apprenticeship soon, and then he'll leave the city. Are you good for anything? If you mean... Do I know blacksmith's work? No, that's not what I meant. Sooner or later, the orcs are going to lay siege to the city, and then the only men who will count will be those who are in a position to defend our city. And I won't take on anyone as an apprentice who will disgrace me by fleeing the city with the women and the good-for-nothings, instead of holding the fort here with the men. I'm not a good-for-nothing. Those are big words. Can you back them up with big deeds? What are you getting at? Bring me an orc's weapon. Orcs have been seen near the city. With a bit of luck, you won't have to search for long. If you manage to bring one down, I'll take you on as an apprentice, provided the other masters agree. Nothing about picking locks. Hey, you're not quite as stupid as you look. What do you want? I'm not giving anything away. I'm looking to become an apprentice. Really? And with whom are you going to sign up? I want to sign up with one of the other masters. You have come to ask my approval? Hmm. As far as I'm concerned, you can sign up with whoever you like. I want to sign up with you as an apprentice. With me? No! I have already had the dubious pleasure once of grappling with an apprentice. That's quite enough for me. I invested several years in his education, and in the end, the poor fool up and poisoned himself. Go sign up with one of the other masters. What will I have to do to become your apprentice? <sighs> I couldn't bear yet another dilettante on my conscience. There is a multitude of herbs out there. Used in different variations, they develop the most diverse effects. You probably don't even know half of them. <sighs> Here. This is a list of the most important plants. Bring me a plant of each kind, and I might reconsider taking you in as an apprentice. And thus spake Adonos to his brothers. Adonos be with you. Who are you? I am Vatris, a servant of Adonis, the guardian of the divine and earthly equilibrium. What can I do for you? Tell me about the Ring of Water. And why would I do that? 
Cavalorn sent me to you. And what did he tell you? He said, you're in dire need of more good people. Aha. Uh -huh. So, you want to join us, son? Here, I've got a letter for you. For me? Indeed. This is an important message you're bringing me. I wonder how you got hold of this letter. I got it from Cavalorn, the hunter. Cavalorn? Where is he? He told me to tell you he couldn't make it and is headed for the meeting point. Whatever he meant by that. I see that you have gained Cavalorn's trust. That speaks in your favor. I want to join the Ring of Water. You do? Well, that means you have already fulfilled the first requirement. What do you mean by that? I mean there must be someone among us who trusts you. Otherwise, you wouldn't even know about it. But I know nothing about you at all. What do you want to know? Well, you could tell me where you come from and why you have come to the city. I carry an important message for the leader of the Paladins. What is this message? Terrible things are bound to happen soon. Terrible things, hmm? How do you know this? Zardas, the magician, told me. He sent me to warn the Paladins. The Necromancer? So he lives, and he sent you. Who are you really? I'm a former convict from the penal colony of Carinus. Good. Let us summarize. You are a former prisoner who has been told by Zardas, the Necromancer, that terrible things are going to happen. And you have come to report this to the Paladins. I think there's something you're not telling me. If you're worried I might pass on what you tell me, then let me reassure you. I have sworn to keep all secrets I am entrusted with to myself. And what about all the people here? They only understand half of what I preach to them. So don't fret. Let's start over at the beginning. What's that message? A large army is gathering as we talk, led by dragons and determined to conquer the country. Dragons? You speak of beings which until now have only been mentioned in legends. How do you know this? Zardas, the magician, told me. He sent me to warn the paladins. I know this man as a wise and mighty master of magic. And where do you come from? I'm a former convict from the penal colony of Carinus. Good. Let us summarize. You are a former prisoner who has been told by Zardas, the necromancer, that dragons have come to conquer the country. And you have come to report this to the Paladins. That all sounds rather fantastic, but I cannot perceive that you are lying to me. Therefore, I must assume that your motives are honorable. I want to give you a chance to join the Ring of Water. What must I do in order to join the Ring? Know that you take on great responsibility by joining the Ring. I do not let just anyone join who comes to us and asks. If you want to join the Ring, you will have to prove that you act like one of us. And that means... Before we let a young man join our ranks, he must have done a great deed for the Ring. Only then can I begin to consider letting you help preserve the balance of forces on this island. I have vanquished the Sleeper. Isn't that a great enough deed? My ears hear many a tale these days, including the story about the banning of the beast called the Sleeper. I have not heard that this was achieved by a single man, although your eyes tell me that you are convinced you did this. That confuses me slightly, but I cannot be sure that my senses might not deceive me sometimes. I have freed many people. The barrier is gone. Even if you can really claim responsibility for that, the great event in the Valley of Mines has not only set free the water mages and other upright citizens. All the criminals of the entire country are roaming Carinus these days. 
harassing the population. The bandits have already taken over large areas of land outside the city. It has become all but impossible to leave the town and return unharmed. So what would be an appropriate deed that might convince you? Corinus is facing a great enigma these days. The number of people missing from the town seems to increase almost daily. If you can explain to me what happened to them, you shall have your place within the Ring of Water. However... Yes? You should take your message to the Paladins first. I consider it a matter of utmost importance. Talk to Lord Hagen. But Lord Hagen is not going to receive me. Yes, he will, no doubt about it, provided you become a member of a powerful community first. The Ring has far-reaching connections. We shall assist you in conveying your message as soon as possible. You should talk about this to Laris, whom I trust. He will help you. What community should I join? There are only three communities that have enough influence. These are the City Militia, the Monastery of the Fire Magicians, and the troop of mercenaries on the landowner's farm. The choice is yours, son. Laris can certainly assist you with this difficult decision. Talk to him about it. I shall do that. I've got this stone tablet. Can you tell me more about it? Those are artifacts from the old culture, which we have been investigating for some time. There are several kinds of them. Some contain information about the history of the ancient people, and that is the kind I am interested in. Bring me all of those that you can find. I shall give you an appropriate reward. I've got another stone tablet for you. Great! Here. Take a few potions as a reward. I'm asking your blessing. Why should I give you my blessing, stranger? I want to start an apprenticeship with one of the masters in the lower part of town. Go with the blessing of Adonos, my son. Where can I find a priest of Inos? The best thing would be to look around the marketplace. You will find an emissary of the monastery there. Can you teach me something about magic? Only the Chosen of Innos and the Chosen of Adonos are permitted to work rune magic. But common mortals can also work magic with the help of spell scrolls. I can show you how you can channel and expand your magic powers. Wait! If you see Laris, give him this ornament and tell him that it needs to be returned. He'll know what to do with it. Can I get a drink here? If you have gold, you can even eat here if you like. And how's business going? Ah, don't remind me. Lord Andre is serving free beer at the Gallows Square. Hardly anybody comes here now, except for the rich people from the Upper Quarter. What's wrong with them? Yeah, <laughs> some of those swells could really get on your nerves. Take that uh, Valentino, for instance. <laughs> I can't stand the sight of him. But I can't pick my customers. Yeah, I need every coin I can make. What little I had managed to save has been stolen, along with all my silver. You've been robbed? Yep, some time ago. It was still rather crowded that night, and uh, I was doing the round serving beer. I wasn't gone long from behind the counter, but it was long enough for those bastards. I went to see the militia about it. They couldn't find a thing, of course. Yeah, yeah, they prefer to get plastered on free beer. Tell me about the missing townspeople. I heard that a lot of them went missing down by the harbor. Small wonder with all that's going on down there. 
Even Thorben, the carpenter in the lower part of town, has lost his apprentice. Hakon, uh, one of the merchants in the marketplace, had an especially strange tale to tell. He said that there was this fella that he used to bump into every day, and then suddenly he vanished off the face of the earth. He even went to see the militia about it. Townspeople all pretty much panicked after that. I don't know what to make of it. I, <laughs> I think it's all nonsense. Corinus is a rough city, and many dangers lurk outside her gates. Those who don't stay within the city walls will be attacked by bandits or eaten by wild animals. Yeah, it's that simple. What is it with this Valentino? Yeah, he's filthy rich and has no need to work. And he brags about it to everybody, whether you want to hear it or not. He drinks a lot and always stays until the end. And then early in the morning, he totters back to the upper quarter. It's the same every day. What do I have to do to get into the upper quarter? Well, you need to be a citizen of the town. Uh, go find some work. Preferably with a craftsman in the lower part of town. Uh, yeah, uh, that'd make you a citizen. Well, uh, and if that's still not enough, go talk to Lord Andre at the barracks. Maybe he'll let you join the city guard. They can go into the upper quarter, too. Security measures How the strange. Of the upper will be it seems to me that I have met you before, Traveler. The law well, and the sense in great are the mysteries of time entry. and space. Oh, please forgive my rudeness, son of patience. I have not even greeted you yet. Welcome, friend. Take a seat on my humble rugs and enjoy a pipe in peace. Who are you? My name is Abu Jin ibn Jadir ibn Omar Khalid ben Haji al-Sharidi. I am a seer and a prophet, an astrologer and a purveyor of tobacco. What kind of tobacco do you offer? My pipes are filled with spicy, refreshing apple tobacco. Help yourself whenever you want, son of adventure. Do you have other tobacco as well? I offer only the very best tobacco. This apple plant is a symphony from my homeland, the Southern Isles. But, of course, I'm always open to trying a different sort of tobacco. If somebody should succeed in producing a really good tobacco... How's that done? Start with my apple tobacco as a basis, and then try combining it with another ingredient. This is done at an alchemist's bench, provided you know the essentials of alchemy. Where can I get apple tobacco? I shall give you two portions. It is up to you, in your wisdom, to do with them whatever you want. If you crave more, then direct your steps toward Zuris, the master of potions. He produces this tobacco, and he sells it too. Can you make me a prophecy? My services are yours for a modest fee. Oh, father of generosity. How much do you want? For a poultry, 25 coins. I shall risk a glance through time for you. But remember, the future is always uncertain. All I can do is glimpse some fragments of time. Tell me about the future. All right, seeker of knowledge. I shall now enter a state of trance. Are you ready? Orcs. They are guarding an entry. An old tunnel. A valley of mines. Men in shining armor. A magician. Your friend is with them. He is waiting for you. Fire! An attack! A mighty creature! The flames, many, shall die. What is that? A city 
ruins. Quar Holdron in Jarkandar. He is summoned. Quar Holdron in Jarkandar. I am sorry. The vision is over. There's nothing more I can see. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus. By the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is hereby enacted. From this moment onward, all the citizens hey, of this city closer. who have martial skills Take at their a disposal break and have a are here with beer. urge to Lord join Andre the royal Lord Andre is for a few barrels of free beer. You still owe me a favor. It is time to pay your debt. What do you want? I want my old stall in the marketplace back. Sarah snatched it away from me, but she has had that spot long enough. I want her to give up the stall. And what's my part in this? I will give you a letter to stick in her pocket. Then you go to Andre and tell him that Sarah is selling weapons to Onar. She lands in prison, you pocket the bounty, and I get the stall. You have two days to accomplish this. He simply talks too much. What will happen if I refuse to do that? That would be truly stupid of you, because you see, I know that you're an escaped convict. If that gets around, it could do considerable harm to your situation in the city. All right, looks like I've got no choice. You're a clever lad. Here is the letter. How am I supposed to force the letter on her? Let her show you her wares. And while she does, you hide the letter on her. And bear in mind, I am an influential man in the city. So don't try to play me for a fool. I've got to go. Suit yourself. Welcome, stranger. My name is Baltron. Have you come to stock up on food? I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you. I don't have much in stock right now, but I'll be getting a new delivery soon. But that's terrible. That's an open secret. Have you got a job for me? No, I already have an errand boy. Try the other merchants. How's business? When the Paladins came, I first thought that it was a good business opportunity. But they let Herod make their weapons, and neither Hacka nor I make even one gold piece off them. Moreover, the farmers no longer supply us with food, and all the prices have gone up. It's only a small consolation that the Paladins are paying my hotel bill. What's the problem with the farmers? They refuse to deliver their goods. Now that the ships no longer come in, the city depends entirely on the supplies provided by the farmers, of course. And Onar, the largest farmer, has hired mercenaries to protect his farm from the city guards. Otherwise, they simply snatch the goods for themselves. But the mercenaries don't just guard Onar's farm. They come as far as the small farms outside of town to intimidate the farmers. I saw them as I was passing Akil's farm. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes now. Where will I find Akil's farm? If you go out of the east gate here and follow the road to the right, you'll come to a stairway. It leads up to Akil's farm. But I wouldn't go there now. The mercenaries are certainly still there. Show me your wares. Who says things like that? Everybody knows by now. Honestly, I wouldn't do it myself. That's what I've always said. I'll never get this open without the right key.
I'm Zurus, master of potions. Do you need an essence of healing or a magic elixir? Then you've come to the right place. Do you brew your own potions? No, I either get them from the monastery or I buy them from Constantino, the alchemist. If you're interested in brewing potions, then talk to him. He needs an assistant. But he's too pig-headed to hire someone himself. He's just as stubborn as a mule. He always passes me when he goes out on the East Gate to collect plants for his potions. Where exactly does Constantino gather his herbs? He always goes through the Eastern City Gate here and then disappears into the wilderness to the left. He once told me that just about everything grows there, except for King Sorrel. Has Constantino ever told you where to find King Sorrel? I once heard him say that the stuff grows near stone circles, near Lobart's farm. That's a farm near the other gate. There's one of those stone circles. I think it's on a hill. It used to be a grave or something. Show me your wares. That's what I've always said. Honestly, I witnessed it myself. Hey, you! I don't believe One more thing. Listen, kid, I've got important things to do right now. We'll talk again later, got it? It's an open secret. I am Hacker, a weapons dealer. Every man should carry a weapon these days, especially when venturing outside of the city walls. Really? How interesting. Someone's gotta do the work. Hey, you! Don't tell me that. Tell me more about the area around the city. It's gotten too dangerous out there, because of the bandits, for one thing, and also on account of wild beasts. Even the animals don't seem to get enough to eat in these crappy times. They're venturing closer to the city all the time. Do you know anything about the paladins? Yes. Those guys are ruining my business. All you can buy in this entire town is a short sword at most. They've helped themselves to anything that's longer than a foot and a half. In return, I now get to live in the hotel free of charge. <laughs> Where do you get your weapons from? Harad the Smith has been my supplier up to now. Now all he does is make stuff for the paladins. He works for those guys day and night like a madman, without pay. He thinks it's his duty. All I can offer you now is my remaining stock. What do you know about the disappearances of the citizens of Corinus? I have seen many pass through the eastern city gate. Some of those who came, I had never seen before in my life. And many of those who went out never came back. But what happened the other day was really quite strange. There was this fellow who came here. I think his name is Joe. He bragged that he would soon come into some serious money. He claimed that he knew how to get into one of the city towers where the militia keep their arms. I haven't seen him since, even though I used to bump into him around the same time every day. I reported this to the militia. I thought that maybe he had been caught and thrown into the dungeon. But Lord Andre had no idea what I was talking about. He didn't even know the fella. That's not what my husband thinks. What do you know about the bandits? What do I know about them? They robbed me on my way to the city. And I'm not the only one. They've been up to their tricks for quite a while. The militia tried to track them down, but without any success. I witnessed it myself. Do you know who in the militia took part in the search? The fellow's name is Pablo. He and a few others went looking for the bandits, but they didn't find them. Do you know where I can find Pablo? He patrols around the city. You'll find him either at the Temple Square or in the lower part of Don't town. Tell this to anyone. Where did they hold you up? It's near Akil's farm. Just go out of the city gate from here and follow the road to the right. After a while, you'll get to a few steps. The bastards came from there. That's not what my husband thinks. I bet they have their hideout back there in the woods. I don't believe that. I'll deal with it. What? You want to take on the right bandits? Here. By yourself? You're quite a good fighter, huh? How much is the matter worth to you? That's a dangerous really? business. Well, it's all right with me. I'll pay you 100 say. gold pieces if you defeat the bandits. But that's terrible. Show me your wares. I can't 
can't take care of everything for everybody. Don't tell this to anyone. Innos be with you, stranger. If you're looking for a good selection for the traveler, then you're in the right place. But I'm warning you, if you're planning on helping yourself without paying, I'll call the city guard. Just a moment. Do I look like a thief? Bah! You won't be the first one to make off with my things today. But that's terrible. Somebody stole from you. I can't prove it. The fellow was damn clever. Introduced himself as Ringaru, if that really is his right name. He's been hanging around the marketplace the last few days. And every evening he gets plastered at the beer stand down the street. I bet the bastard is drinking my money. I only looked away for a moment, and my purse was gone. I could get your gold back for you. Oh, and why would you do that? Now that's typical, isn't it? Well, that depends. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? <laughs> You've got the wrong man. I'm from out of town like most of the merchants in the marketplace. If you want to get into the upper quarter, go talk to the resident merchants in the lower part of town. Someone's got to do the work. I want part of the gold as a reward. First, see if you can get my purse back. Then, we'll talk about your reward. Why didn't you call the city guard? The guards only respond if a thief is caught in the act. And when I noticed my purse was missing, the bastard was already gone. He'd better shut up. How much gold was in that purse? 50 gold pieces. That's quite a lot in these crappy times. Don't tell this to anyone. I'll see what I can do. Be careful. If you just knock the bastard down, the city guard will get involved. Lately, things have been getting really tough here. Since the paladins came to town, the guards have been cracking down on brawlers. So think of something. I shall. It's terrible. Show me your wares. Really, how interesting. Everybody knows by now. And it's going to get even worse. He simply talks to you. That's not what my husband thinks. What can I do for you? Are you seeking spiritual comfort? Do you want to direct a prayer to our Lord Enos? Or donate some gold for his church? I've come to get your blessing. That's good. That's good. Then you will probably want to donate gold to the Holy Church of Enos, won't you? Actually, I wanted your blessing so I can sign on as an apprentice in the lower part of town. But my son, without a modest donation to the church, it is impossible for me to bless you. How else can I be certain of your good intentions toward the Holy Church of Enos? That's what I've always said. That's terrible. So, how much does a donation usually run to here? Well, that depends on what percentage you want to give, son. Let me see how much you brought. You have more than a hundred gold pieces. The Lord says give if you have. The church accepts your generous donation. I bless you in the name of Inos. For he is light and righteousness. That's what I've always said. Who says things like that? These are bad times. He simply talks to you and tell us to end. Jora says you've got his money. Damn it! I'm out of here! That's terrible. Really? How interesting. Someone's gonna be Who says things like that? Gotcha. Hey, 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 what do you want from me? Huh? You stole from Jorah in broad daylight, and he even saw you do it. So I've come to tell you that you're a lousy thief, and that... And now, you tell me who you are. I'm nothing but a poor wretch, trying to make ends meet one way or another. Well, what else can I do? I can't find a job in town. All right, I see. Spare me your whining. You had better hand over Jorah's gold now. <sighs> Here's the dough, man! But now let me go! I'll never do it again!
I should turn you into the militia. What else do you want? I've got nothing left. Let me go, man! Get lost and don't show your face around here again. Oh, you won't regret this. Thanks, man. Each inhabitant of the city is to prepare himself accordingly. Everyone is to begin training in the skills of combat immediately and to arm himself. Enos, be with you, stranger. What brings you to me? About those missing people. Just leave me alone with that. I've got other problems. I've come to collect the bounty for a criminal. Sarah is selling weapons to Onar. Sarah? The weapons merchant in the marketplace? Do you have proof of that? She has a letter in her pocket which details the delivery of arms to him. She won't get away with that. I shall have her arrested. decree is hereby enacted. From this moment onward... I, I don't believe that. He'd better shut up. About the thief. Yes, how's it going? Have you caught him? And much more importantly, do you have my gold? Someone's gonna he got away from me. And what about my gold? Did he get away with it? Here's the 50 gold pieces he stole from you. Inos, be praised. There is still justice in the city. You can't keep anything I want part of the gold as a reward. If it's gold you want, then hunt down the thieves and collect the bounty from Lord Andre. Now, I must get back to my customers. Now that's typical, isn't it? But that's terrible. Well done. Sarah is where she belongs. I have taken over her goods, so if you need a weapon, come to me. I can't take care of everything for everybody. Show me your wares. Take your pick. I've got to go. Suit yourself. Who says things like that? These are bad times. That's not what I heard. And it's going to get 